as a field, as a particularly fertile ground for application of AI methodology. It's been the last couple of decades, I would say, uh, with, with the High Tech Act and with electronic health records becoming the norm, that you've seen this data proliferation. And uh, it's a field ripe for data-driven methodologies to help in decision-making. For instance, tools for prediction of disease onset, tools for diagnostics to identify tumors or to identify uh, fr fractures, personalized treatment plans to identify which treatment plans are more appropriate for which patient types. So healthcare is a place where the data it comes to fruition in so many ways. It is here. It is absolutely here. There have been studies which show how health systems have been using patient clinical and demographic and cost data to predict who has had the highest risk of healthcare. Then when is a patient most likely to get an adverse event happen in the operating room? You would see that's happening all the time, especially at advanced health systems in the country. Now what's happening as we speak is collaboratives across institutions share data so that people can sort of identify things which work not just for one population, but for a generalizable population. Because this question of generalizability is an important one to answer. And that's what we are moving towards. My research centers around uh, adapting and applying uh, machine learning methods uh, in healthcare, specifically from a causal perspective. The kinds of questions that my research seeks to answer, I would say, broadly fall into three slightly overlapping domains. There would be the clinical domain where some of the questions we're seeking to answer is, how can we quantify the effects of interventions in the operating room? And not just quantify the effects, but quantify differential effects, and then understand optimal treatment pathways for preventing, let's say, acute kidney injury for patients who are going on bypass. There could be interventions focused in the policy domain. How does access to Medicaid or different forms of insurance designs can affect patients' use of the healthcare system? And are there subgroups of the population which respond differently to these interventions? Then the third thing, which is a big part of my research agenda, is how do we apply machine learning methods for personalization in the behavioral science domain? to design uh, low-cost, scalable interventions aimed at making people choose uh, healthier behaviors? And how can we, more importantly, of the array of uh, potential strategies, identify which is the most effective to maximize their outcome that we are often interested in? There has been a lot of discussion about the challenges of applying AI or machine learning in healthcare. Are we perpetuating existing behavioral disparities which are not healthy, perhaps, right? But that's just because the data says and that's what the algorithms are reflecting. So being mindful of our own limitations in knowing this technology, but again, trying to abide by certain protocols to make this as transparent as we possibly can because it's, 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 it's life-impacting decisions we're talking about.